Morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of Holy Week. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With On this last uh, celebration of Lent, as we begin the Triduum tomorrow, let us reflect on Judas. We, he really sometimes gets a bad press, and I wonder sometimes if he's different than we are. For the times we were tempted to give up on ourselves, give up on God, or give up on others, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to obtain the grace of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I may know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and sit spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like a flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the incense, insults of those who blaspheme, you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my first thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciple approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare the Passover supper for you to eat? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples did it as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined the table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after the other, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a cute story. A sixth grader went to her mother with, her, with her, this homework question. What's the difference between potential and actual? Mom thought for a moment and then replied, go to your dad, your brother, and your sister. Ask what they would do if they found a million dollars and no one knew they had. Would they turn it in or keep it? The boy goes first to his older brother and asks the question, are you kidding? That would pay for college and set me up in business. It's probably drug money anyway. Of course I'd keep it. The sixth grader writes down his answer and then goes to his sister. Of course I'd keep it, silly. It's probably a bribe or a payoff that got lost anyway. 
I chop till I drop and then bank the rest. I'd be set for life. Brother writes down her answer and then goes to talk to dad. Well, anybody who loses a million bucks could probably afford it. I drove over the house, put you kids through school, and then have something left for my retirement. The kid goes back to mom and shows the answers. Mom says, now do you see the difference between potential and actual? Potentially, we are an honest family, but actually you and I live with three conniving thieves. You know, it's kind of a, a cute story, but you know, Easter is something kind of really important. It refocuses our vision. I was at the eye doctor the other day, I was telling some people, I have trifocals. And the interesting thing is, when they put that screen up and you look through your glasses, if you look through the wrong lens, it's distorted. If you look through the right lens, the vision is good. And I think that's what can happen to us. Sometimes we look through the wrong lens and we see something distorted. Sometimes we look through the wrong lens and we look in the mirror, just like that cute little story was. Sometimes we're not perfect people. Sometimes we do things or think things that really aren't right. And so we're always learning. But thankfully, Easter is about a God who forgives, a God who loves, a God who gives us eternal life. So as we get ready for Easter, we got to go through Good Friday. But as we get ready for Easter, let's take a look at the lens or lenses we're looking through and see if maybe we need a change of our lenses. God bless. For those people that have shown us the love of God in our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have no hope, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this wine to give you Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace that effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe was vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the night who was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Bino Borzell, Nancy Ranajak, John Costello, Sharon Witrowski, whom you've called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, 
Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the, the word and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. And God, with, Almighty God, with firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.